Today we'll be trying out the brand new Ben & Jerry's cookie dough mix. YouTube, welcome to the channel. My name's Jason. Here on this channel, I do food and product reviews. Like I said, we have the new Ben & Jerry's cookie dough mix. I have the two flavors that are available at launch, peanut butter and s'mores. All right, so Ben & Jerry's has been doing the edible cookie dough that you keep in your freezer for a while now. And they have multiple flavors, as you can see, but this is a cookie dough mix, so a little different. It has the cookie dough in there with some other treats. So the s'mores one over here says snackable graham cracker and cookie dough and marshmallow truffles. The peanut butter one over here is snackable peanut butter chocolate chip cookie dough and mini peanut butter cups. Okay, so for the peanut butter one, there's your nutrition facts there. 130 calories, 3.5 grams of fat, and two grams of protein and 10 grams of sodium. Serving size is two tablespoons and there's eight servings per container. So you don't get it very much. So this bag is only this small. So you, what is it? A couple pieces, probably two pieces is a serving. All right, so then for the s'mores one, well, I'm bringing up, this is online. The s'mores, right, there's the s'mores cookie dough mix. And they're showing the nutrition facts there. And it's not the same. It's the same, except the only thing that's different is the calories. 140 calories on the bag versus online, they're saying 130 calories. That's what this one was, 130. I, I don't know which one's right, 130, 140. It's 10. 10 calories per serving. I mean, not the biggest deal in the world. So it's somewhere between 130 and 140. We'll say 135. Okay, so let's go ahead and try, let's do the peanut butter one first. Peanut butter cookie dough paired with peanut butter cups is sure to pique your interest in this mix packed with peanut buttery panage. Panage? Panage? Enjoy. Is that panage? I can't speak today. I, I guess, I don't know. Maybe I'm just making up words. And I do like cookie dough. Like when you buy the little, what is the little circle ones, like Pillsbury, you put them in the oven, they make the, the little sugar cookies. Usually don't even get around to cooking the cookies because I'll just eat the cookie dough. Boy, when they say mini peanut butter cups, I was thinking regular size, you know, the smaller, you get, you get the Reese's peanut butter cups, then you have the minis. These are like tinies. Look how tiny those are. Tiny, can you focus on? There we go. Little tiny, tiny peanut butter cups. That's all that's supposed to be in here, right? The cookie dough and the peanut butter cups. Okay. Let's just try one of each. Get a couple more of these. You need to be a huge lover of peanut butter. Because you got peanut butter in the cookie dough, peanut butter and chocolate, peanut butter and chocolate chips in here, peanut butter and chocolate here. It's a lot of peanut butter. I mean, I like peanut butter. I don't love it. I like peanut butter. Peanut butter flavored things, not the biggest fan of. All right, let's just get it all. I missed one. We need milk for this. That's too much. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Again, it's good if you like peanut butter. To me, being not the biggest fan of peanut butter flavored things, it's too much for me. I don't, I wouldn't get this one again. I don't care for it that much. Yeah, this one I think is gonna be better. Hey, don't get me wrong. I love Reese's peanut butter cups. Great, peanut butter cups and chocolate, that's great. But I don't know, this just is too much for me. Just like I make protein shakes in the morning, strawberry vanilla, and I have a chocolate peanut butter one that I bought 
because it's like always sold out because I think people really like it. So I think, even though going into it, I knew I was like, I'm not gonna like it, but I'll get it. Maybe I'll be, change my mind. I, I hate it. I'm gonna throw it away. I've made like two smoothies out of it. I don't like the chocolate and peanut butter taste to it. Just like, I don't know. I'm not, not big on this. Not big on it at all. Sticky's all over my table. All right, let's do the s'mores one. Who doesn't love s'mores? You go camping. I mean, you don't even need to camp. I mean, I'll make s'mores on the, the, the stove top. You just, or I think I did a video on s'mores where I think I did them in the microwave too. Okay. Where's the chocolate? Okay. So snackable graham cracker cookie dough. And marshmallow truffles, is that what this is? Marshmallow truffle? Yeah, there's a marshmallow inside. That's really good. Just alone, the chocolate with the marshmallow, the marshmallow truffles, what these are. Mmm! Those are good. Now the graham cracker cookie dough. I should have brought a glass of water in here. I'm trying to see if I can get, what taste am I getting? Is it graham cracker? It's supposed to be graham cracker. I guess, I guess it's mixed between kind of like a sugar cookie dough with a hint of graham cracker. I need more chocolate now to eat it all together. Yeah, these ones are way better. I mean, to me, way better. Just because I too much peanut butter, way too much peanut butter. And this chocolate truffle, marshmallow truffle thing is amazing. So let's do a couple of each, maybe three, three of each. Okay, I don't need any more, I'll put these back. Don't worry, I clean my table all the time after every video. As much stuff as I drop, I'm sure I don't find it all. I gotta get that before that melts. Really good. Um, it's really good, but am I eating it going, I, I literally forgot until I just looked over the package and like, oh, it's supposed to be s'mores. I'm like, does it taste like s'mores? No. Does it taste anything like s'mores? No. What's it taste like? Deliciousness. I, it's hard to explain because the graham cracker cookie dough doesn't really taste like graham crackers. Like you really have to sit there and chew it up and search and search and search in your mind and in the taste and, and try to match the two together. And you're like, mm, I guess I see where they're going with it, how they're saying it's graham cracker taste, very slight. And this marshmallow truffle, chocolate truffle marshmallow thing, delicious. Doesn't taste anything like something you would have on a s'more. It's not marshmallow and chocolate. I mean, I guess it is marshmallow in there and chocolate, but I don't know. To me, it doesn't taste like what marshmallows and chocolate taste like on a s'more. So, I mean, I guess in a way it's got a graham cracker, cookie dough type thing. It's got some chocolate. It's got a little marshmallow in there. So they're gonna say it's all the ingredients that would be in a s'more. So we're gonna call it s'mores, even though it doesn't really taste anything like s'mores, but it's really good. I was just said, it's cause I've had so much peanut butter and chocolate in my mouth. I can't speak right now. I would suggest pick them up, try them out. If you like the regular Ben and Jerry's cookie dough, they're not mixes, cookie dough bites, You'll probably enjoy these. Like I said, if you're a fan of peanut butter and you just love everything peanut butter, you'll be blown away with this. If you're not that big into peanut butter, skip this one because this is heavy, heavy, heavy peanut butter taste. This is just good. Try it out. Out of the two, I would go with this one. I don't want to rank them because I'm going to rank this really low and it's just because I'm just, it's too much peanut butter for me. It's not saying this is a bad product. It's really good for what it is. It's just too much for me. And this is, yeah. All right, fine. Six out of 10. Six out of 10. Eight. Maybe I'd go five. For me, five. 
Yeah, five and eight. Again, but don't take my five as, oh, this is horrible. I'm just saying it because it's chocolate and peanut butter on chocolate and peanut butter. Too much chocolate and peanut butter. At least it's mixed up over here. I mean, the cookie dough doesn't have any chocolate or marshmallow in it. It's a completely different thing than the chocolate and marshmallow there. So that's why I'm gonna rank this one higher and that's why I like it. So leave it in the comments below if you've tried these. What do you think of them? What do you think of those other cookie dough bites? And I did a video on those and I will leave a link probably at the end of the videos if you wanna check that video. I did a couple flavors, I think, when they first came out. Now I see they have a bunch of different flavors. I didn't even realize some of these ones came out. Maybe I'll have to look for some of those new flavors of the cookie dough bites. Let me get that before I forget. And it just melts. Um, and I would forget because now I can't even find it. I'll be right back. At least it wasn't the chocolate. It was just one, right? Sorry, I just didn't want m chocolate melting on my carpet down there. So there you go, the Ben & Jerry's cookie dough mix in stores now. Don't think these are limited edition or anything. It's just a new product from them. And from what I read, this, these are the two flavors at launch. So I'm sure they'll be doing just like the regular cookie dough bites where there's a bunch of different flavors now. I'm sure they'll be coming out with more uh, flavors. Hopefully they do like a sugar cookie and what would they do with sugar cookies? I don't know. It'd be interesting to see which new flavors of cookie dough mix they come out with. All right, so there you go. If you guys have enjoyed this video, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Throw some comments down there. If you notice any difference in my videos, or this one in particular, because I made some changes. Um, if you've watched a lot of my videos, I have someone at work that I work with who went to school for photography and lighting and stuff. And she's been helping me and giving me tips and I made some adjustments. So Joy, if you're watching this, I moved the overhead light from over there because it was just hitting the one shoulder. I got it straight above. So now you see light on both sides. So it's supposed to make me pop from the background a little bit. So it doesn't look like I'm on a green screen. I don't know, I'm trying to get her in here to help me with these lights and stuff and maybe be in a video or two. Yeah, you wanna do that one. She doesn't like hot stuff, but I mean, come on. It'll be fun. Leave, throw it in the comments below if you wanna see someone in this video on my channel doing some stuff like that or other things. Apparently she makes some really good cookies, so we'll see if we can get her in here to make some cookies or something. There you go. Like I said, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. I'll see you in the next video.